सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर थर्टीन सोशल हेल्थ पेज नंबर वन एटी नाइन फैमिली साइज प्रेफरेंस फॉर मेल चाइल्ड अनदर सेट ऑफ कस्टम्स एंड ट्रेडिशन दैट हैव एडवर्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन सोशल हेल्थ इज रिलेटेड टू फैमिली साइज मेनी पीपल बिलीव दैट चाइल्ड बर्थ इज अ गिफ्ट ऑफ गॉड and individuals should not interfere with this divine process people also have preference for male child many a time parents go on giving birth to children and the size of the family continues to grow until a male child is born this belief contributes to increasing number of children in the family some parents want to have at least two male children the preference for male child has been the main cause of discrimination against girls girls are considered inferior to boys owing to discrimination nutritional needs of girls are not met adequately all food items that are served to boys are not given to girls or are given in very less quantity the girls are also discriminated in availing education facilities in the process girls are married off very early the discrimination against females has been a grave problem in our society you must have read about the inverse sex ratio being a problem in our country as discussed earlier parents get the pregnancy test done in a clinic and if they find it to be a female fetus they get it aborted many girl children are killed just after their birth now we have one more activity for you activity 13.6 Examine the breastfeeding publicity material points video posters which one do you think is more appealing to women and elderly to accept the message of breastfeeding now below that we have a box for you box 13.1 it reads find out sex ratio of your and neighboring states and analyze the facts now moving on with the chapter substance abuse You have already studied in detail about substance abuse in chapter 2. It is also known as drug abuse which has become a serious problem in our society. It is important to note that social customs have been closely related with the drug or substance abuse related behavior of individuals since ages. Indian society which enjoys cultural diversity has a history of use of plant products such as cannabis opium and home brewed alcoholic beverages in celebrating festivals page number 190 there are certain social groups which are more vulnerable to substance abuse on the contrary social customs prescribe that intoxicants should not be taken by children up to a certain age developments of industrialization urbanization with consequent migration have resulted in loosening of the traditional social control on an individual stresses and strains of modern life the fast changing social milieu among other factors making people vulnerable to drug abuse moreover the breaking of the joint family system with limited parental attention and care in modern families where both parents are working peer pressure influence of films and fashion and values have led to a considerable rise in the consumption of drugs especially among adolescents substance abuse has a negative impact on the family and society it increases conflicts and causes untold emotional pain for every member of the family most of the domestic violence is directed towards women and occurs in the context of demands for money to buy drugs with most drug users being in the formative young age the loss in terms of human potential is incalculable activity time we have one more activity for you activity number 13.7 observe at least five families in your neighborhood and find out the following number 1 how many members are there in each family and how many of them are males and how many females number 2 are all boys and girls of every family studying if not what is the ratio of both are both boys and girls in the family studying in the same school of equal standard 
Number three, how many females of the family are working outside their homes? Based on the collected facts, try to understand the following. Number one, major reasons why certain families are large while some others are small in size. Number two, the overall quality of life in large and small families. And number three, the status of girls and women in both types of families. Now we have a box for you, box number 13.2. It reads, Facts about substance abuse by young people in India. Substance, drug abuse is fast emerging as a problem. 24% of the drug users were in the age group of 12 to 18 years. The subjects in treatment centers reported that about 11% of them were introduced to cannabis before the age of 15 years and about 26% between the age of 16 and 20 years. United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes, UNODC and Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, GOI 2004. Incidences of vagrancy, delinquency, alcoholism, drug addiction, truancy and crimes amongst adolescents have been sharply increasing. Boys outnumber girls and most of them are illiterates or having schooling of a few years. 41% primary education and 29% illiterate. A large number of them are school dropouts. National Crime Records Bureau, NCRB 2003. Page number 191. Now coming back to the chapter. Substance abuse is also associated with declining grades, absenteeism from school and dropping out of school. Drug abuse in adolescence has led to increase in the crime rate. Addicts resort to crime to pay for their drugs. Substance abuse can adversely affect an adolescent's psychological and social development. 13.4 Protection of Natural Resources The environment is a key determinant of social and individual health. You may be aware that many of our health problems are caused by environmental degradation. Environmental degradation can affect the health of the whole population. Some groups are particularly vulnerable, including children, pregnant women, the elderly and persons with pre-existing family history of certain diseases. Recall what you have learnt in the chapter on water management. As you are aware that number of factors contribute to environmental degradation, but the most important factor is the misuse and overuse of natural resources. All that the nature has provided to us, such as soil, air, water, minerals, sunshine, sunlight, animals and plants, etc., are known as natural resources. Human beings use these directly or indirectly for their survival and welfare. The problem lies in how these natural resources are distributed and used. If at any time one person or a group of people uses more than their fair share of resources, an imbalance is created. This leads to environmental health problems for others. It is therefore essential for every individual to ensure that natural resources are protected and are not misused or overused so that social and individual health is not affected adversely. In India, we have had a great tradition of environmental conservation. We have been taught since ages to respect nature and to recognize that all forms of life, human, animal and plant, are closely interrelated. Disturbance in one gives rise to an imbalance in others. Our constitution also has provisions for protection of environment. Now, we have three activities for you. Number 1. Activity 13.8 Design an advertisement for community members to say no to drug abuse. Discuss with classmates to make the message catchy to more community members. Design parent. Parent campaign for discouraging drug share. Activity 13.9 Number 1. Survey the community around your school and prepare a report on what it is doing to help the environment. Number 2. Prepare a chart on 17 Sustainable Development Goals. 
Finally, the third activity, activity 13.10. Find out about a community which has a tradition of environment conservation. Write a brief report about their accomplishment. Share this with your classmates. Now, moving back to the chapter. 13.4.1 Clean Water and Food Resources In view of the above, all the natural resources need to be protected. It can be done in two ways. Efforts are needed to ensure that natural resources are used judiciously according to the needs of the present generation and of future generations. Secondly, care needs to be taken so that natural resources are properly maintained and sustained. We may take the example of water and food resources. Page number 192 At the top of the page we have a box, box 13.3. It reads, There is a provision under Directive Principles of State Policy, Article 48, that the State shall endeavour to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forests and wildlife in the country. Moreover, one of the fundamental duties provided in Article 51 AG is to protect and improve the natural environment including forests, lakes and rivers and wildlife and to have compassion for the living creatures. Now, moving on to the chapter. With a view to protecting and conserving clean water, the following steps are needed. Growing vegetation in the catchment areas. This will hold water in the soil. It allows seawater to percolate into deeper layers and contribute to pool groundwater. Constructing dams and reservoirs to regulate supply of water to the fields as well as to enable generation of hydroelectricity. Treated clear water of the sewage should be released into the rivers. Industrial wastes, effluents should not be released in rivers. Judicious use of water in our day-to-day -day life. Rainwater harvesting should be done by storing rainwater to recharge groundwater. Fertilizers, pesticides and insecticides should be used only after getting the soil tested in nearby laboratory community be made aware of proper use of fertilizers and pesticides. Restriction needs to be imposed on the use of prime agricultural land for other purposes. The decision for land use should be based upon land capability and land productivity. There should be incentives for cultivation of crops with high nutritive value and those with lesser demands on water and energy inputs. Local bodies like Zilla Parishads, Gram Panchayats and Samitis need to be strengthened to ensure effective decentralization and optimal resource management. Now, we have one more box on this page. Box 13.4 In India, the Green Revolution has helped in growing food for a fast-growing population. Over-exploitation of land and water resources and extensive use of fertilizers and pesticides became a major source of contamination of these natural resources. 13.5 Education of Community The discussion on various aspects of social health leads us to realize that health is a complex issue which cannot be fully managed only by educating individuals. Community as a whole has a very important role to play in ensuring health of all individuals and for healthy living. In fact, education and promotion of healthy living and sustainable practices in the community enhance the quality of life for all. The community should be educated about living sustainable and healthy lifestyles. The one most common denominator in this regard may be what all we eat and what nutrition we all need to keep us healthy. It is the one common sustainable practice that applies to every single one of us, regardless of age, ethnicity or economic situation. It is also most important to educate the community about sustainable and healthy living in a learning environment. Page number 193 Assessment Answer the following questions. Question number 1 
What is the meaning of social health? How do social customs influence social health? Question number two. Examine the social customs in respect of early marriage, breastfeeding practices, family size and preference for male child. Question number three. What is substance abuse? How does it affect the social and individual health? Question number four. Why is the protection of natural resources important for social and individual health? Question number five. What do you mean by community education? Why is it important to educate the community for a healthy life? You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yadav, Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo, Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar, Assistants in Production Ruchi Sharma, Directed and Produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.